Hi everyone, it's Nana Foxy Mama 365. We're back with the Game of Thrones season eight, episode three. I thought it would be just be great to do this. But first, I want to big, give a big thank you to everyone that has supported my my channel. I'm so so grateful to all the subscribers, my family members, my room two friends, my friends from back in the days. Thank you guys for all the support and all the love. And today we're actually being sponsored by Beauty in Lines art collection by Jude Ifacia and it's exhibiting in Toronto Visions Gallery actually on April the 10th to May the 12th Wednesday to Sunday from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. so be sure to catch that moving right into the battle at Winterfell so Game of Thrones this is season, this is season 8 we've been waiting for this season and now finally it's here now the first two episodes were like eh, Iffy. People were not like really too excited. We were like, Ugh. but to, but yes, last night's one was a really good one. So that's why I'm like, look, I'm going to just talk about do a review on it. Spoiler alert! If you haven't seen it, definitely get off. Don't just get off right now because definitely I'm give, I'm spilling all the tea on this episode. So we're getting ready for battle. We see the Dethraki is actually the ones leading the battle, and then behind them you also have the Ansalids, you know. And everybody's like, oh, the tension is so thick. You can literally cut it, you know. And everybody's like, okay, what's going on? But you can actually hear the dead people marching. And you're like, okay, but you can't see anything because it's dark. And I was like, oh my God, am I going to have to use some kind of night vision or something to see what's going on? Anyway, from nowhere, the red lady appears. And everybody's like, oh, where did she come from? And then she talks to the, the leader and asks him to speak tell them to hold up their swords and she touches with the, the leader of one of the swords and it all lights up so we're like yeah yeah the red lady cut to the rescue so away they go and they, they give the attack and they start going down and they're like okay what's going on and we're all watching and we're like okay and they're all lit up and but it's dark and then suddenly the light goes dim 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 and it's darkness and out of the blues, we see one or two horses running back. And of course, we see their leader also running back, you know. And everybody's like, okay, what happened? I believe that the blue, the dead dragon, the blue dragon, actually showed up and just iced them out. And I'm like, ooh, what a way for all the Detraki people to go. You see how people can just become extinct? <laughs> Anyways, we hear all the screams and the light is gone. The dead people have started attacking. Now the next people in line are the Ansalis and they're like, okay, hold, hold, hold. We see Sir Mormont, he's trying to like, he's running away from, you know, the first attack and everybody's like, okay, this is not good. And there's still silence and they're like, okay, what's gonna happen next? And then suddenly a layer of ice. At this point, we also see uh, the other two dragons. We see uh, John is, is on one of the dragons and we also see Queen Denarius is also on the other dragon and then suddenly their fire starts to attack. This is as the dead people have started attacking and it's like, yeah, the dragons are here, yay! So we're like kind of excited. So you see how we're going back and forth in the battle and like, yeah, for some time we're like winning and sometimes we're losing. By we, I'm talking about the living, okay? <laughs> Anyways, so the dragons show up and try to help the Ansolids as they are fighting the dead now and it's like okay what is going on so this is all going on in the dark so we're trying to really understand because we can't really see what is going on and in my mind i'm like oh this is so i've been oh, we've been waiting so long and we're like oh should we oh, any which ways the dragons show up and they're like yeah killing the dead people and they're falling which is kind of good and then suddenly a layer of ice what's going on the dragons the fire is no longer effective apparently guess who shows up yep 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 you guessed right the dead dragon vesarion that's what it's called so vesarion shows up and is kind of like putting out the flame and suddenly everywhere turns ice cold and it's like winter is dead on it's snowing people can't see it's hazy so there's so much commotion going on and aya at this point is like okay this is bad aya gives <laughs> sans sensor sans yeah that's her name Sansa gives Sansa a, uh, one of her knives and is like, you know what, you get, need to hold this and go down into the fort. And Sansa like, what do I do with it? Hello, what do you do with it, girl? You use the sharp end. <laughs> so she goes down and then Drago can be seen dumping, you know, 
hills on each of the trees and everybody's like what is going on the dead is still coming and they're like retreat 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 what is going on the dragons are literally like now unable to see what is happening they're going as low as the trees and like literally unable to their fire is no longer working so they're like retreat the anthologists too are trying to hold back but it is really really not working out so the light they're like trying to light the touch light the trench light the trench and at this point i'm like okay uh i don't think this is going to work they're trying to shoot at it they're trying to you know show the sign for the trenches to be lit and nothing is happening because guess what apparently their strategy did not include putting that it will be so cold and you know there'll be winter everywhere and they won't be able to light their trenches so we're like okay at this point we're like oh lord this is not going to end up well light the trenches light the trenches and then all of a sudden you see the red lady come out and she holds like one of the touches to the trenches and she's now start speaking and we're like okay it's not working the dead people are coming and we're like and they were like okay this is not working out but eventually just as the dead people reach them the trenches light up and we're like yeah woohoo you go lady in red you go mm-hmm yeah she saved the day once again so moving moving on back to where Thursday is so they're talking and she's talking with Tyrion and she's like oh maybe we should have stayed married and they're like mm -mm -mm, you are the good one and anyway we're like you guys really have time to have this chit chat when people are dying out in the fall in the war front okay good luck to you and also at this point we see Brandon and he's talking with Ty Ty uh He's talking with Tyrion, yeah, he's talking with Tyrion and he's like, oh, great joy that is. And he's like, Tyrion, you've been a good guy, you know, just keep it up, you know, you're part of the family anyways. And, you know, whatever happened in the past led you here. And the guy goes, okay, I'm out. And he's like, okay. So he turns into a raven and he starts going out. And then moving right along, we see the dead are now surrounding the trenches and we're like, okay. So maybe this will give us a breather to actually go back and recuperate and, you know, they come up with an idea just like what happened when they were surrounded on the island in the, in the cold you remember where the, the they couldn't walk because they were falling into the water so we're like okay maybe they might have a day or a few hours to recuperate uh, 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 uh. strategy 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 now you now see the dead actually falling into the fire and forming a bridge and i'm like oh my god that was so brilliant you know i was like yes so you see the dead actually forming, falling into the water and actually into the into the trenches and fall, forming a bridge. And you're not just doing that one end; they're doing it in many different parts of the whole of Winterfell. So you're like, oh my god! And at this point, they're like, okay, man the walls, man the walls. <laughs> this was so. It was so. It was such a good episode. Man the walls, man the walls. So now they're trying to man the walls. They're trying to like, and you see the you see these guys. You see, the, these dead people don't tire. And they definitely don't, they, they, they just keep coming. They are strong. They don't, <laughs> any way. So they keep coming. So I'm like, okay, retreat. You see Sadava saying, oh, you know, you got to retreat. And at this point, we still see that people that are still alive. We see that Sir James is still alive. We see Brienne, the new knight, is still alive. We see uh, the hound is still alive. Even though he's like, okay, he's literally done with this, you know. And then who has died? We really don't know what is really going on and who has passed on. You know, we don't even see where Podrick is. We don't see a, a number of people. Anyways, so the dead, the dead people are now climbing the wall and trying to get in. And it's really becoming like, okay, we really have to man the walls. And everybody's trying to fall back in. So they're getting back in and trying to retreat. The Ansalids are, tr no, the Ansalids, yeah, the Ansalids are also trying to hold back the dead so people can come back in. But it's still a mess. They do their best, but they're not really able to hold the wall. So, as they keep going, they finally, finally able to kind of get a lot of people in. And guess who shows up? The big giant. And this time, he's fighting for the dead. And this guy ain't here to play. I tell you. He's swinging humans. He's killing them. And of course, when you see the little queen show up, and she's like, oh, you know. The giant walks in, and she's like, oh. You know, the little queen like, okay, what am I going to do? So, she charges. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, girl you go girl and she charges at him but as she charges at him he literally grabs her by the neck and he's like okay 
and literally he's about to eat her. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, this is a bad way to go. But you see her actually bring out her dagger and actually stab him in the eye and kills him. So yeah, good for you. See, the women are women, are winning actually. Winning! <laughs> so meanwhile, up in the air, the dragons, the dead dragon Viserion is still causing a lot of havoc. You see that? You know, she's spitting blue fire and flames at John and Daenerys and their dragons. Their dragons are actually called Regal and Drag and Dragon. That's what they're called, Drogon. You know, so down in the sea, cellar, we see Aya is trying to get away. She's making a run and it's just turned into the walking dead. At this point now, she's now like in the tomb. Luckily, she's grown up there, so she probably knows her way around. And in my mind, I remember thinking to myself, oh my gosh, is this the walking dead? But I'm like, no, these dead ones are a little more intelligent. They're a little more sensitive and they're fiercer and they don't die. You know, they really, really don't die. So Aya is like opening doors and trying to hide and jumping and all of that. She's bleeding. She's exhausted. But these dead really don't, whatever. They don't crack. And then she meets the Lord of the, one of the men from the light. And she's also confronted by the, the hound. And the hound is like, he's done. You guys just let me be. And the guy, Lord of, one of the men from the light is like, okay, tell that to Aya. How are you going to save her? The hound said, fuck you. The dead, 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 is, the dead are already here. We're already dead. So what do I need to fight for? So anyway, he gets up. And all three of them are trying to make their way out. But as they're doing this, the dead are still making their way in and attacking them. And the dead have made their way into the, the, the tomb. And it's like, oh my gosh, what are they going to do? Any which ways, they're trying to get out. But we also see the, the man from the light lose his life. And this is the sixth time he has been brought to life. And it's kind of sad. Aya is sad and she's like wondering. And they turn around and they see the lady in red. And the lady in red is like, this is the purpose for which he was kept alive and brought back to life six times. And Aya was like, oh, wow, you know. And then she's talking to Aya and saying, I know you. I've met you before. And you said we we're going to meet again. She later said, yes, and here we are. We meet again. And then she now says to her, oh, what is going on? Why, you know, what, why, you know, this, this all happened. And she said to Aya, you know, I told you that you're going to be someone that's going to slay brown eyes green eyes and blue eyes and most of the time we don't pay attention to all the words that they say because sometimes you're like uh, there's so much going on but if you when you watch it again you're like oh okay anyway no spoilers until we get there so she says okay so what do we say to the people to the to the lord of the dead to the god of the dead aya says not today mm -mm, bitch not today yes aya meanwhile under the red tree we see Ty. we see Theon, Greyjoy, is still protecting Brandon and they're killing and they're trying to shoot their arrows. They still have arrows and they're doing their best, you know. And then up in the air, what is going on? The dragons are clashing. Now, this is my favorite part of the, of the entire uh, Game of Thrones. I love to see the dragons. I love to see them spit fire. That's pretty much my favorite thing. So when they're showing it in the dark, I was like a little bit upset because I really love to see them. But anyways, we're enjoying this scene because the two dragons are fighting. We have the, the dead dragon, Viserion, fighting. I think most likely Viserion must have been fighting with Rhaegal, who is the dragon that uh, John was riding. I say this because usually, uh, what's her name? Uh, the queen, Queen Daenerys, would usually be, be on Drogo, Dr no, Drogon, yeah, which is the one that she always usually rides. So I'm just assuming that those are the two dragons that were fighting. And on the black on the back of Visarion, we actually have one of the lieutenants from the dead, and he has his arrow. So the, the the dragons are going at eight and spitting fire and trying to you know to get at each other and hurt each other. And you see where the lieutenant is trying to reach for his his sword to try and you know throw at the other dragon, and unfortunately he falls. And at that point too, the other dragon is still trying to fight. They're still fighting. But one of the other, the uh, Regal, the dragon Regal with, that's carrying John also falls and comes down and John falls off. And then at this point, we see the Lieutenant of the Dead actually standing. And what's her name? The Queen decides, oh yeah, this is my opportunity. I'm going to try. Daenerys is like, okay, I'm going to try and spit on him. Remember that he was the one that actually killed her first dragon. So she has a lot of hate for him. And the dragons are like her kids. So she she goes down and she goes, Dracorus, Dracorus. Mm -hmm. So spitting fire, this fire goes right down. But guess what? Mm -mm, not today. <laughs> 
The man doesn't die. This lieutenant doesn't die. For some reason, the fire doesn't consume him. So he literally walks up. Whew, child. And at this point, John and Denarius realize, okay, this is really bad. Because he's now reaches, he reaches down for his broken blade and try, sword and tries to shoot once again at the other dragon. But at this point, Denarius takes off with the dragon and is able to escape. So he walks off. And as he's walking, he realizes that John is chasing behind him to try to get him. Because if he kills him, he will be able to kill the dead people that he has raised. That's pretty much what, what was going on. So John was walking and walking, trying to get after him. And then he turns and sees John. And I'm wondering, why the hell did John pause? We're like, okay, yes, this is John's moment. Finally, John is going to say to Jay. John Snow, uh -uh. not today. <laughs> not today, John, not today. So John Snow doesn't save the day once again. Because as he's walking up to the, to the lieutenant of the dead, he literally starts raising the dead. And we're like, oh my God. So all the dead soldiers now rise and now they're all coming at John. And this time, John's uncle is not here to save him. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh my God, what is going on? Moving right along, we now see also, which was interesting, is that the ladies, the women and the children who were staying in the tomb area, those dead people in the tomb start coming out. Oh my God. You have to give them a, I mean, bravo, brilliant. So they start coming out and they're now attacking the women and the children who had thought they were safe, you know, but apparently nobody is safe. And then we now also see Denarius coming down because now, of course, John is once again alone fighting with a thousand dead people. I don't know how he always gets away with it. But anyway, Denarius comes in and the dragon speaks fire and is able to kill those ones. And as she does that, she's like, look, I have to run to my brother Bran. And she now takes off to Winterfell to try to get to Bran because at this point he has realized that Bran is no longer, might no longer be safe and Bran obviously is the target. They're trying to get at Bran because if they get to Bran, he is the, uh, he has the memory, he has the knowledge of life. And if they can get him, then all knowledge and all memory of life of what happened in the past will be wiped out. So that's why they're trying to get to him. Moving right along. So Daenerys comes down and is, is trying to, after she has rescued John, she takes too long to get back up in the air. And all of a sudden she's swarmed her dragon is also swarmed by the dead and at this point you see for the first time the dragons actually abandon her you know literally she falls off and then the dragon couldn't continue couldn't you know help or rescue her because he was also being attacked and so he takes off so that's drogon takes off and leaves his queen behind but of course guess who comes to the rescue yeah none other than her her right hand man what's his name again i think his name is i always keep forgetting this man's name any which way, she gets rescued by her right hand guy, Jorah. Yeah, Jorah of Mormont. Yeah, so Jorah. So he comes and they're fighting. And do you know what, guys? This lady that wants to be queen, Queen Denarius, do you know that this is the first time she's actually welded a shield, a sword? In all this drama, she has never, ever, ever had a sword in her hand. So it was kind of interesting and kind of awkward to actually see her hold the sword. Because if you like see Aya, you're like, okay, you're comfortable seeing Aya with the sword. But I really was like, oh, really? So they're fighting together. Their backs are together. They're trying to, you know, do the best they can. We also see Jon Snow trying to get to his brother, Bran. And he's unable to reach Bran. And he's still trying. You know when it's bad? It was like when he actually saw his friends. He actually saw, um, what's his name again? His good friend and he didn't stop to help him. Yep, he saw his friend and he didn't stop to help him, Rob. And he also saw... Uh, he also saw lady, the lady, the night, the night lady, Brienne, and he didn't stop to help her. And he was like just trying to get to his brother. But unfortunately, this just wasn't working. Because every time he would try something, he would get attacked. Or the blue dragon now shows up and it's like, oh my gosh. But it was really, really cool. So, of course, Jon Snow is running and trying to do his best. The lieutenant starts raising the dead and all of that is happening. So, oh yeah, of course, that's his name. So yes, here comes back in the Winterfell. We see Jon Snow still doing the same thing. No, back in the in the in the in the in the grave. We see in the tomb. We also we still see now uh, Sansa and our great leader, our hero, unable to do anything or to help themselves. They are literally like hiding behind a tomb and they're like okay we wish you know what do we do and Sansa pulls out the knife and I'm thinking oh my god Tyrion is not even going to say don't do this you know I was like is Tyrion going to save her is he going to stop you know I thought he actually was going to you know he but 
we don't know what happens then so it just keeps going on the dead the dead meanwhile is still attacking the women the children and Daenerys is fighting uh Jon Snow can barely get out from under the dragon's breath the dragon is breathing blue on him it's all chaotic and at this point we see the the, the Lord of the God of the Dead and his lieutenants are all walking towards Brandon and Brandon turns to uh, Greyjoy, Theon, Theon, Theon Greyjoy and is like, Theon, literally like saying it's over and at this point everybody, well, I'm like, oh my God, it's not going to end like this. At this point, the suspense, the music, the sound effect, the slow motion as they're walking towards him and you're like, oh, life as we knew it before is about to end. You know, and all of this, and at this point, you're like, and the golden goal goes to Game of Thrones. Woohoo! Yes, this was a golden globe moment, I must say. You know, the, the suspense, the sound effects, it was just, it was spectacular. Well done, guys. So now at this point, you're like, oh, all is lost. And we we're all saying, so Theon Greyjoy is like, okay, that like he's going to try and charge. And he does this and then like, yeah, and he runs and he trains with his, with his sword to try to get at the lieutenant or get at the Lord of the Dead. Not today. Not today, Mr. Greyjoy. Not today. <laughs> so he's unable to also reach to him because he gets grabbed and he gets stabbed and he literally dies and he's feeling very sad. And at this point, every, everything is like, at, you know, is at a slow motion. You know, they're walking towards Bran and they're trying to get to him. And just as... The lieutenant is about to reach, or the god of the dead is about to reach behind to grab his sword. Guess who shows up? Aya! 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 Yes, Aya shows up for the day. Yes, today, Aya. Today, my girl. Mm-hmm. So Aya shows up, and just as she jumps or reaches, he turns around, grabs her by the neck, and Aya pulls a beautiful stunt. She's holding the sword, she drops the sword, catches the sword in the other hand, and welds it into the into the into the, into the drag in the dead, and he falls and everything breaks to pieces. Yay! Yay! Aya fucking stuck! <laughs> For the golden globe, that is. <laughs> so that's what's going on, and then we're all like, yes. And as she does this. All the dead now start dropping. The leaders break off into ice, but the other ones all just drop. The dragon was about to spit fire at Jon Snow again, <laughs> and it just drops dead. And all of a sudden, everybody, you know, all the, everybody's like, "What is going on? What is going on?" And we see Aya with her brother, and we're so excited. So she, you know, she jumps, and it's just so amazing. And then after this, we see the lady in red taking off she's like walking away and we see that okay i guess she must have had enough of all this so she takes off her chain and drops it and she's walking away and as she's going away she's turning back into the old woman that she used to be and she slumps and dies and that was pretty much where it ends so i want to know guys what you guys think for next episode who do you think survived and who do you think is gone because there was we don't know really we, there's just so much you know who is dead I know we know for sure Jorah Mamut, who's the guy that was protect, that was fighting with with Queen Daenerys, must most likely be dead. If he comes back, I'll be surprised. <laughs> the lady in red for sure is also gone. But who else is surprised? And you know what I have to say? After all this, that bitch Cersei, that is the queen from the north, will actually think that she deserves the throne. <laughs> Not today. Mm -mm. Not today, Cersei. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, be sure to share, be sure to comment, and be sure to subscribe. See you soon. Bye.